Let's talk about tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, or TB, is a lung infection caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria. And so you may have, you hear TB a lot because of the TB test that you typically have to take for like nursing school or for a job. And this test is known as the Manto test. And what they'll do is they inject a bit of tuberculin uh, product into the skin uh, and what happens is if the patient has or has had uh, tuberculosis then that means the body has antibodies to fight tuberculosis so if there's a reaction at the site of the injection um, there's going to be a swollen spot on the skin and so that's why you take the Manto test and you wait two to three days and the test is reread and if they see that the site is now swollen up, um, it's a sign that the patient has either had or currently has a tuberculosis infection. If there's no uh, response, then that decreases the likeliness that they have had tuberculosis. So, uh, I told you that's an infection of the lungs. What are some risk factors for developing this? Well, this is, this is spread airborne. So that means some infections uh, the respiratory infections, I'd have to cough on this marker and then you would have to touch the marker and then it gets on your hands and then you touch your eyes, your mouth, and then it enters your body. With tuberculosis, it's airborne. Just being in the same room as you and talking to you, if you breathe in any air that has the tuberculosis in it, you can then catch tuberculosis. So, risk factors uh, would be uh, crowded places because, I tell you, it's spread by airborne precautions. Um, now, tuberculosis is also, it requires a long-term therapy, 6 to 12 months, and so places such as overseas or um, in communities with poor and homeless, uh, they may not be able to afford that kind of a treatment, so they may have it and may be spreading it. Uh, also, people that are immunocompromised uh, are at risk for catching any infection higher. So some signs and symptoms of tuberculosis. So, you know it's a respiratory infection, so you're going to see cough and you're going to see some nasty sputum, okay? Uh, some signs of tuberculosis is that cough and stuff has been over like at the last three weeks. It's a long-term infection, and it hasn't gone away in three weeks. Most infections should be gone by then. Also, you have night sweats, weight loss and anorexia, and just generalized fatigue. So these signs tell the doctor, maybe it's not just any infection, maybe it's tuberculosis. So what they'll do is they're going to do a Manto test because they can poke you and they can check in uh, 48 to 72 hours to see if it is swollen. It is positive if it's greater than 10 millimeters or if you're immunocompromised greater than 5 because if you're immunocompromised you have a decreased response to fighting infection so you're, it'll take you longer to get that response than that swelling. They can do a chest x-ray, look at your lungs. Do they have the tubercles in your lungs? Um, and also they can do a sputum culture and see if you have tuberculosis in your sputum. Treatment, okay, acutely, just get to the hospital, they're going to need oxygen, and they're going to be needing maybe some breathing treatments and some medicine to get mucus up, uh, and then you're going to start them on the medicines to fight tuberculosis, and this is typically combination therapy, uh, so multiple different types of pills at the same time, and it's going to be over 6 to 12 months. Now, they're not going to be at the hospital for that long, so they'll go home, and they're going to be receiving this therapy, um, and they're going to be contagious until you get three sputum samples that come back negative for tuberculosis. So every two to four weeks they'll go in and get up some sputum and then once you have three negatives in a row then it's a good sign. Continue those, uh, the, your therapy of the medications for until it's completely done but at least you don't have to wear a mask anymore. So prevention of catching this. So for nurses or for patients that are wearing that have TB that are in public they need an, either an N95 mask or a HEPA respirator. A regular mask has uh, some fairly large holes and the tuberculosis is very small and it can wake its way through. Uh, an N95 is going to be a very tightly knit um, heavy duty mask that will prevent it from spreading. And uh, also their room is going to need to be a negative airflow room. So what this means is uh, they have basically a giant ventilator that sucks uh, air out of the room in order to keep it to where someone opens the door to the room, instead of that TB air going out into the hallways, it's all, all the air is being sucked up into the room. So it keeps bacteria from exiting the room. 
So this is tuberculosis.